What if everything you know about when precision engineering began is completely wrong? We're told it started in Europe during the Industrial Revolution, 1800s, maybe 1700s if we're generous. But here's the truth that will blow your mind. While Europe was still figuring out basic metalwork, ancient civilizations were building machines so precise they make modern engineering look amateur. Mechanical computers that predicted eclipses, earthquake detectors that worked from hundreds of miles away, 40-foot astronomical clocks that kept perfect time. Drop a comment if you think precision engineering is a modern invention, because what I'm about to show you will completely destroy that myth forever. The story we've been told about technological progress is a lie. We think innovation follows a straight line, Stone Age to Bronze Age to Iron Age to Industrial Revolution, each step building on the last, always moving forward. But the archaeological evidence I'm about to show you comes from peer-reviewed studies, museum records and scientific analysis that most people never see. What these findings reveal will completely reframe how you think about human capability. Because the truth is this, Ancient civilizations achieve precision engineering that rivals anything we build today. They just did it using completely different methods. And then they lost it. Here's what we're going to uncover today. First, how ancient Greece built a mechanical computer 2,000 years before the digital age. Second, why China took a completely different approach to precision technology. Third, how medieval China launched the world's first precision movement centuries before Europe. And finally, why these incredible achievements were forgotten and what it means for us today. By the end of this video, you'll realize that human genius isn't new. We've just been looking in the wrong places. Let me ask you something. When you think of advanced technology, what comes to mind? Smartphones, computers, precision manufacturing, all modern inventions, right? Here's what's shocking. Every single one of these technologies has ancient predecessors that were just as sophisticated, sometimes more sophisticated. If ancient people achieved the same technological capabilities we have today, it means our entire understanding of progress is backwards. It means we haven't been advancing. We've been rediscovering. Think about this. We assume ancient people were primitive because they didn't have electricity or modern materials. But what if they solved the same problems using different approaches? What if they built computers without silicon chips? What if they achieved precision without modern tools? What if they created technologies so advanced that when we rediscovered them centuries later, we couldn't believe they were possible? The evidence suggests exactly that. We're about to look at three examples that will shatter everything you think you know about when precision engineering actually began. Each one proves that human ingenuity isn't bound by the materials available. It's only limited by imagination. Wait, stop for a second. We've been conditioned to think that technological progress is inevitable, that we're always moving forward, but what if that's completely wrong? What if the most advanced technologies in human history were built thousands of years ago? And what if we're just now catching up to what our ancestors already knew? The first example comes from ancient Greece. And it's so advanced that when archaeologists found it, they refused to believe it was real. Here's where things get mind-blowing. There actually was an ancient computer. And it makes your smartphone look pathetic. If ancient people built mechanical computers, our entire timeline is wrong. We've been underestimating human genius for centuries. Meet the Antikythera mechanism from ancient Greece, dating from 150 to 100 BC. A hand-powered computer with 37 bronze gears. This device predicted eclipses, tracked planets, calculated Olympic dates, with mechanical precision not matched until the 1400s. But here's the truly shocking part the gear teeth were cut to 0.1 millimetre precision. That requires modern machines to replicate today. When Jacques Cousteau's team found corroded bronze pieces in a Roman shipwreck in 1976, X-rays revealed something impossible. 
gear wheels so advanced the lead researcher thought medieval clockwork had contaminated an ancient site. It took decades to accept the truth. Ancient Greeks built a mechanical computer 2,000 years before digital age. Your smartphone predicts eclipses using software and satellites. The Antikythera mechanism did it with bronze gears and math genius. And get this, it was more accurate than calculations used into the Renaissance. Imagine finding a steam engine in an Egyptian pyramid. That's the shock level we're talking about. We think precision engineering is modern. But ancient Greeks built mechanical computers when most of Europe was figuring out basic metalwork. So if Greeks achieved this mechanical precision, surely ancient China did too, with their advanced metallurgy and engineering reputation. Here's where the story gets fascinating. Ancient China was incredibly advanced, but they took a completely different path. If we assume all advanced civilizations develop the same tech, we miss something important. Different cultures solve different problems in unique ways. Despite superior metallurgy and inventions like paper, gunpowder and compass, ancient China didn't build geared computers like Greeks. Instead, they focused on different precision applications. Astronomical instruments, water clocks, seismographs. The famous Chinese earthquake detector from 132 AD used precision pendulum mechanisms. It detected tremors from hundreds of miles away. Zhang Hung's earthquake detector used eight bronze dragons holding balls, positioned around a central pendulum so sensitive that seismic waves made the right dragon drop its ball into a bronze toad's mouth below. This showed the earthquake direction. In 138 AD, it detected an earthquake 400 miles away. No human in the capital felt it. Officials doubted the device until messengers confirmed the distant disaster days later. We think precision engineering leads to computers and smartphones, but ancient China proves there were different paths. One's focused on detecting natural phenomena instead of calculating star movements. It's like comparing a telescope to a microscope. Both need incredible precision. But they solve different problems. There isn't just one path to advanced technology. Ancient China developed precision for earthquake detection, astronomy and timekeeping. They just didn't build mechanical computers. But China's precision engineering was about to take a turn that would surpass even Greek computers. Now we get to the real precision revolution. And it happened in medieval China, not industrial Europe. If China launched the world's first precision movement centuries before Europe, our understanding of tech history is backwards. The industrial revolution wasn't the beginning of precision manufacturing. It was just Europe catching up. The Song Dynasty, from 960 to 1279 AD, created the world's first mechanical clocks with escapement mechanisms. They beat European clockwork by centuries. Chinese astronomical clocks achieved precision timing. This enabled accurate star charts and navigation systems used across Asia. The precision technique spread to weapons, tools and scientific instruments. This created history's first precision movement. Su Song's astronomical clock tower, finished in the year 1094 AD, stood 40 feet tall. It used sophisticated escapement mechanisms to rotate a celestial globe, ring time bells and display astronomical data on multiple levels. When European visitors saw it centuries later, they called it a machine that seemed to think. It was so advanced that some scholars refused to believe contemporary accounts. Europe gets credit for starting precision manufacturing during the Industrial Revolution. But China's Song Dynasty created precision mechanical engineering 700 years earlier. They just didn't use it to conquer the world. So it got written out of history books. It's like crediting the Wright brothers with inventing flight while ignoring birds flew for millions of years. The technology existed. We weren't paying attention to the Wright inventors. The precision movement didn't start in 1800 Europe. It started in 1100 China with astronomical clocks. We forgot because the inventors didn't conquer the world to spread their story. 
So if ancient China mastered precision engineering centuries before Europe, why are we just learning this now? The answer shows how winners rewrite history. Here's the final puzzle piece, why this incredible legacy was forgotten. If we don't understand how advanced knowledge gets lost, we risk losing our own achievements. History shows progress isn't always forward. Sometimes we go backwards. Political upheavals and Ming Dynasty isolation caused much Song Dynasty precision tech to be abandoned. European colonial expansion meant Western tech stories dominated history books for centuries. Modern archaeological discoveries are finally revealing the true scope of ancient Chinese precision engineering. When British clockmaker John Harrison created the first accurate marine chronometer in 1761, historians called it the birth of precision timekeeping. But recent analysis of Song Dynasty clocks shows Chinese craftsmen solved the same problem 600 years earlier. Their solutions were lost when Mongol invasions disrupted Chinese tech continuity. The precision movement didn't start in 1800 Europe. It started in 1100 China. We forgot because the inventors didn't conquer the world. Advanced technology can be lost. Entire precision traditions can disappear. Knowledge isn't automatically preserved just because it's valuable. So what does this mean for you today? We live in an age where we think we're the pinnacle of human achievement, where we assume our ancestors were primitive compared to us. But the evidence tells a different story. Ancient Greece built mechanical computers. Ancient China created precision earthquake detectors. Medieval China launched the world's first precision movement. They achieved technological marvels that took us centuries to rediscover. And then they lost it all. If this revelation about ancient precision engineering completely changed how you think about human capability, smash that like button. It tells YouTube that forgotten genius deserves to be remembered. Subscribe for more deep dives into the advanced technologies our ancestors mastered that got written out of the history books. And drop a comment. What other modern inventions do you think might have ancient predecessors we haven't discovered yet? I read every comment and your insights help shape future investigations. Because the most important lesson isn't that we're more advanced than our ancestors. It's that human genius has always existed. We just keep forgetting it. The question isn't how far we've come. The question is, how much have we lost?